Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this series of videos, <clears throat> we are working on several different labs that are part of the AZ-104 exam, that is for Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification. All the labs that are available from the Microsoft Learning account in GitHub, I'll give you the link in the video. In this series, we started working on the lab 6, Implement Traffic Management. On the first video, we provisioned the lab environment. In the last video, we configured the hub and spoke network topology mainly using the peering feature. And in this lab, we are going to test the uh, trans transitivity of virtual network peering. So just make sure that everything is working properly. So let's get to the task. <clears throat> so let's see where is our task three. Here's my task three. Okay. So in the Azure portal, search and select for Network Watcher. So let's go. And before we do anything, uh, just look at one more time that in the last video, we created three resource group on the deployment stage so resource groups. So one, two, three, those three are the resource group and we created virtual networking between one to two and then one to three okay we didn't specifically specifically created any virtual network between two and three but we have enabled traffic forwarding between one to two and one to uh, one to two and one to three so i feel like you still have no connectivity from between any of these so now let's get back to the lab so we now have to work and, and find the network watcher so i'm just searching for this and here's the network watcher came up so click on this on the network watcher blade expand the listing of azure regions and verify that the services is enabled in the azure into which you deploy resources in the first task so we use east us okay so expand 33 regions and i want to see east us yeah look at that so east us we are so lucky that it's enabled for us the network watcher so that's excellent it looks like for a lot of places it's just completely disabled so we are really lucky that we use this one uh, for our deployment okay so we have confirmed that on the network watcher blade navigate to the connection troubleshoot so connection troubleshoot would be over here under network diagnostics tools under network watcher connection troubleshoot so we are there on the network watcher connection troubleshoot blade initiate a check with the following setting so here let's initiate a check with the following setting so let's see what do we need to do over here resource group is rg1 let's see resource group rg1 source type virtual machine virtual machine next the other virtual machine is the vm0 so that's good Destin, destination specify manually so click on that one and uri pick that one 10.62.04 so that's my ip address and protocol tcp protocol is tcp destination port is 3389 3389 okay <coughs> And that represents the IP address of the VM2. All right. So at this time, click on check and wait until the results of the connectivity checks are returned. So click on check and it's initializing a check on the connectivity. And while we're waiting, let's go back to the lab and read. Uh, verify the results status is reachable review the network path and note the connection was direct with no intermediate hops between the vms uh, they're still doing let's look at the note this is expected since half virtual network is peered directly with the first spoke virtual network the initial check can take about two minutes because it requires installation of the network watcher agent virtual machine extension on this now this could lead give us some problem because when we deploy those machines we had trouble installing some stuff 
especially with custom script installer so I don't know exactly how they're gonna try to install it but it may go just fine as well so let's go back uh, it's still checking for the connectivity so what I'll do I'm gonna pause the video for just a second and as soon as it's done we'll come back all right everyone we are back so it looks like the installation went just fine and uh, uh, status is now reachable <coughs> So the agent that was installed, the Network Watcher agent was 1.4 and if we look at the hop, there is no intermediate hop from VM0, it directly went to that machine and our connection was successful. So there are other things that were the latency in milliseconds and all of that stuff that, uh, that you can review. So in this lab, let me go back. Uh, so we need to do another check. So in this time, Network Watcher connection troubleshoot blade, we're still in here. What we're going to do, we're going to change some stuff. So still, we're going to look from one. Let's see if we're still resource group one. That is fine. Uh, we're now going to resource group zero. So that is also fine. And 63 is... Uh, did we check that one? No, 62 is what we checked. So 63 is now we're going to check. 63 is the IP address of the VM3. And we're going to do the same thing. Uh, everything else is tame. So we're going to hit on check. And give it a couple of minutes. And we are going to wait. And we're going to do some more checks. So let's... Uh, pause the video and as soon as this is done I'm gonna come back and go from there all right my friends so this is also done so I have no problem going from 0 or 3 NIC to this going to this particular uh, particular IP address okay so we have completed up to this point and we gotta do one more where we need and this is kind of expected okay so uh, the main one I feel like is this where we're gonna choose the RG2 so let's go back and choose our RG2 this time so RG2 and virtual machine is fine and which virtual machine is this VM2 we're gonna go after VM2 that is also fine and this is okay so that is still 104 all right so now what I'm gonna do click check so this is what I am not 100% sure so this is could be either unreachable or reachable um, we ha as I said I have we have specifically peered uh, vnet 1 to vnet 2 and then specifically peered vnet 2 vnet 1 to vnet 3 we have not specified anything between vnet 2 and vnet 3 although we have enabled the traffic forwarding for vnet 1 and 3 there is no peering that is explicitly specified between 2 and 3 and this is what we are trying to do now we are from the virtual resource group uh, uh, rg2 we are trying to get to the machine uh, which is 4 which is in which is a VM3 so that could give us some problem and note the status is unreachable so let's see if the status is unreachable. so I'm going to give it one more minute and if it's really unreachable then we can make the conclusion like to have connectivity between all the subnets your peering has to be explicitly defined uh, to make it work all right give me one one minute I'm going to pause the video and as soon as our testing is done I'll be back Okay, we are back. So as we were expecting, uh, we are getting an unreachable status. And uh, that's because we have not explicitly specified the peering between virtual machine 2 and the virtual machines, machine 3. Okay, at this point, let's go back to the lab one more time. And at this time this this was the last step for uh, the checking of the network connectivity so in this video we have done the testing of 
transitivity between the virtual network pairings and we have used the network watcher to perform this check with that please give me a like if you like the video subscribe and good luck with the exam i'll see you in the next lab where we're going to start working on configuring routing in the hub and spoke topology thank you